okay, how do you stay consistent and how important is that habit to be hardwired and what to do if you do get a little bit sick and you have to take weeks off? Where should you start? Should you start where the plan left off or should you course correct? I got this great question in the comments below. One thing that really affects my running is staying consistent. If I have to take a few days off with sickness, which is fairly regularly because I have two daughters in nursery, what's the best way to pick up again? Do you repeat last week's sessions or carry on with the plan? Now, if we look at the week and we think to ourselves, I want to gradually move forward in terms of total volume, in terms of the, the volume of the long run or the length of the long run and what you're doing in that, move it forward. And the interval session, either the, the total volume is increasing or the speed is increasing, it's gradually getting harder on both the interval session and the long run and therefore the total volume. So we're moving three things that are gonna affect your total performance, we're moving them forward. So if you need to take two or three weeks off, then think of the extreme. Say for instance, the long run is asking, when you, when you left off, you had 12K long run, and now all of a sudden, three weeks later, you've got a 16 or an 18K long run, but you've not done that for a long time, and you've just not been off with illness for a few weeks, stands to reason that it's gonna to be too much for you, and you're gonna put yourself at too much risk by doing that. So I'd start where you left off, go back to that long run of 12K, and course correct. Now you might get panicky about that, it might be like, oh, I'm not gonna be ready for the marathon, I'm not gonna be ready for the 5K or 10K, whatever it is you're training for. The danger of being completely sidelined, being injured or ill for the race and actually not making the start line is way more. And you can also course correct the target. Don't give yourself an out, but that hard wired in your head date, which it should be, if it's more rational, more sensible to take another race and do it on a different day because you had a curveball that you had to deal with, that's sensible and that's dealing with the situation as it occurs. That is distance running, problem solving on the go. Exactly the same with the interval session. So go back to the week where you left, do that week, repeat that week again, and then continue. But the bigger question here is consistency. What you get from running is of course, the physical and the physiological and the mental benefits. And the biggest thing for me, more than 80% of it, is the mental benefits. And it's making something happen on a daily basis, whether you feel like it or not. Way more important than the physical or the uh, physiological benefits, way more important. So if you're in the mentality of, if you're not feeling good or great or excellent, whatever, then you're not, it's not gonna happen, that run is not gonna happen, then you're gonna miss too many sessions. If you're in the thought and feeling of it's happening, even if I feel absolutely awful, even if I had food poisoning yesterday and I slept for two hours, I'm getting my kit on that was laid out the night before, and I'm going for a walk. More often than not, that walk turns into a slow jog and that's your recovery jog. It's not gonna be your interval session, it's not gonna be your long run, but that is better than breaking the chain. And that's the thing, you don't wanna break the chain wherever possible. So if your standard is higher, and you're like, do you know what, I, yeah, I don't feel great, but it's just a head cold. And I always say, you know, anything above the neck. So if it's in the throat or it's in the lungs, then it might be better to have the day off. And you've gotta make that call. But by being the guy who makes it happen 99 times out of 100, and the outlier is the time that you take the time off, and you're treating your body like a pro athlete, so the vitamins are going in, the nutrients, you're eating well, your diet's great, hydration is on track, you're adding the right nutrition at the right points in the week, the right electrolytes, because your body is in training mode. If you're doing all that, you're gonna get le uh, sick and you're gonna get injured less because you're taking care of the body that's getting you there. If you're the person who makes it happen 99 times out of 100, it's way more easy to be self-aware enough to say, you know what, I was meant to do an interval session today, 20 times 400 meters, I feel terrible, I'm gonna put it off until tomorrow, or even Friday. And that freedom should come with experience, should come through confidence of knowing when it's absolutely a no, and when 
yeah, I can grind this out. I can run those 20 times 400 meters. Maybe I bring the session back to 12 times 400 meters. And if I was supposed to do them at four minutes per kilometer, maybe I'm gonna run them at 420 per kilometer, but I'm gonna get something done because I don't wanna break the chain. Because if I put this back to Thursday, Thursday's meant to be my rest day. Then if I could just get to the rest day, maybe I feel a lot better. And then going into Friday, that's the recovery run. And I managed to correct it. That's a better mentality to have and a better way to go about things than as soon as something comes up. And it, maybe it's your boss wants you in London office and it's almost impossible to fit the session in. Way more easy to be the guy that's completely all in at work because you don't want to do the run today because you owe it to yourself because you're the 99 times out of 100 guy that gets it done most of the time then when you do get called to an important meeting or there's a project that needs your attention, you're able to give that of yourself because you make it happen most of the time, the vast majority of the time. So that for me, the habit and hard forming the habit and the identity of I am a runner who runs and I'm treating my body like a pro athlete, that's way more important than whether or not to course correct and which week to jump back to. So I hope that helps. And if you have any further questions, pop them in the comments below. And this, by the way, people thought this was uh, some kind of CGI. I'm out in the desert and this is, this is the backdrop. So I just missed the sunset <laughs> because of too much training, but here it is. So I'll try and get the sunset next time for you.